hello boys and girls we are back with another video about um, Theora S uh, air mass flow sensor uh, causes and uh, issues symptoms uh, that you get when you have a bad sensor so uh, first thing first is your check engine light pops up and you get code P0101 and then well, I got a bunch of others so um, in my case I notice a slow delay in my acceleration and a slow response in, in throttle so when I give it a gas um, when I throttle it, accelerate it um, it's just super slow compared to what it was uh, it has a big delay also uh, when you're in the gear and you're driving in like second gear slowly then you guess it you, you notice that a lot more than uh, just standing still in neutral since there's no load on the engine but uh, anyway let me show you what it looks like so it catches air and then goes up yeah well, it, it sounds like it's misfiring actually let me open the window and maybe you can hear it uh, not misfiring but it's like not enough air or not enough gas timing is something something so I step and you can hear my <clears throat> intake goes and catches air and it's supposed to be instant uh, throttle response but uh, since we're having an issue with the sensor that calculates and supposed to do all the job and it's not doing it so let's go and um, install our new sensor um, I think this is the port number for it So I got the new sensor in, uh, let's go ahead and clear all the faults. Okay, all clear, let's turn the keys off, pull them out, and uh, put them back in, start the truck. I will refresh and see if I have anything okay it pops up back since I just cleared it and it's all green not red so it's not fully clean and I have to drive a cycle it says historic fault something that was stored Okay, and uh, let's see how it responds. Oh well, 
such a big difference. Oh, she's alive. Response so much faster. I'd say like 50, 70 more percent faster. No delay, no lag. Well, there's a big delay compared to other cars. Like big, big delay. But I mean, no delay since we got the new sensor in. And I feel actually the engine runs a little bit more smooth. So. Yeah. Delay is gone. Runs much smoother now. Let's go for a ride. Right away you notice a big power increase, uh, lower RPMs. I got stuck one time uh, while having this bed <laughs> sensor. And to my surprise I had such... I had a lot less power than my lower RPMs. Now it's just way different to what it was. Also some issues you can have is that the car starts and runs poor, uh, idles bad and it might just go off. But other than that, this is uh, the issues you get when you have a bad air mass flow sensor.